What's up, gang? Y'all already know it's your girl on love, and I'm back with another video. This particular video will not have a um an intro, outro, none of that. This is serious. Um, before I get into it, this is not a conspiracy channel. This is still simply a beauty a beauty channel. But today, um, this morning, basically, I woke up and I talked to a homegirl of mine. And she was like, have you seen this thing about Wayfair? If you don't know what Wayfair is, Wayfair is basically a furniture company. Now, today, um, we found out that this furniture company is basically a part of a sex ring. Um, they have little girls or little girls and boys um, being sold for sex because um in the descriptions they're letting you know basically what what is what um they're being so you know just being so all together um this was something somebody cracked <laughs> late last night or uh yesterday i'm not sure um there was an article i read because this was something i just had to dig into because they are they were in still trending on twitter um first things first this is how we know that this is something that's real the names that are on these products first of all they're being sold for nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine, ten 10k um 19k and i'm not gonna lie um this particular story had me shook it had me baffled it had me like going crazy in the mind because it's this is stuff that's really going on right under our, our nose um we're looking for these little girls and um we're looking for these boys and and they're right under our nose so basically wayfair is taking these children and selling them on this site um and each cabinet each pillow each um item table or whatever because i seen them a coffee table and i'm gonna list each thing you know that i seen um i seen a coffee table um and what makes it so obvious which it, even though it was like what the fuck what makes it so obvious these children has have distinct names have discrete last names so it's it's pretty much like um this is it like this is it right here um as you can see i'm gonna put like uh on this side of me i'm gonna have like the evidence um as you can see in these pictures the last names of these young girls are the same last name of these cabinets um also in the descriptions they have SKU numbers and i wrote some of these down too so i gotta go grab my notebook but in these descriptions they have SKU numbers so these specific people that are trying to purchase these children um they can just it's it's a way that they let them know that that's what they actually want they're not trying to get no table or whatever or no object or anything like that um and i didn't want to get dolled up and stuff in this video because it's not one of those type of videos but um they it's a specific thing that they do to let them know that that's what they're purchasing um in a description that i read in one of the descriptions I read, basically it says something like 90 minutes for 10,000. I'm not sure if they're basically, um, they're being sold for sex. Um, in the description it was saying like it was 90, it was for 90 minutes it was 10K for 90 minutes. 
Also, um, I read that when you type in a SKU number on Google, it brings up pictures of little girls or young girls. Um, basically, I guess the young girl that would be sold or the child that would be sold. There's many more children than what we've seen. Um, we've seen uh, Yaritza, Samaya, um, last name by Dupree, Kyla, Saranac, Anaya, Annabelle. These are the last names of like cabinets and shit on the site. And these names are too distinct. The, the names of the girls, the young girls that were missing are basically what they're naming them so i have a friend who had a friend that works for for wayfair and it was reported that in the back of one of the trucks it spelled out help um it spelled out help and it had like a hand going down or whatever um i tried to get as much information as i information as i could um I might do a part two to this when I re when I read up more information on it. Most definitely, it was said to be that Wayfair are receiving calls, uh, stating what's going on, asking you know what's the deal, what you know is this really what's going on? They say that Wayfair has no, of course, no um explanation as to what's going on. So now they're taking the things off the site. Taking the things off the site. Also in the descriptions, it says, it says um, no passport needed. No passport needed for, I guess, for them to receive the children or I'm not sure. Basically, that's what I've read up on so far. Um, Wayfair is now starting to take the things down off their sites. Um, Wayfair is starting to um, I guess not answer, answer questions about this specific situation anymore. They still have yet to speak out on it. Please, um, if you are a young black girl, if you are, uh, just a young, young woman, you honestly, at this point, you don't even have to be young. Please be, so, uh, please be aware of your surroundings. Please be aware of your surroundings. Please don't meet people offline. Please don't take this lightly. Um, sex trafficking, human trafficking, um, kidnapping, all of this is right under our nose. Also, I say that because, and, and honestly, you're not gonna get anything from the police. A couple weeks ago, we found out that the police were actually a part of um a sex trafficking scandal as you guys probably seen the lives and the posts um i did come across a video that i'm gonna insert inside of this video <laughs> throw pillows i went low to high or high to low sorry Different names. Ely, Durrett. I don't know how to say that one. Durkin. But these are all $10,000 for the same pillow. Durbin, Dupree. Hey, dude. Crazy. Um, I seen it on Twitter where a young girl was basically scrolling through through Wayfair's website. And um, she's seen all of this, the, the pillows and things like that. So I just really want to say, please be aware. Please be aware of your surroundings. Please don't take this lightly. Um, even though we always say this, <clears throat> growing up in a black family, you always got, I've always been told to, you know, keep my eye on my surroundings because you never know what's going on you never know it's some sick people in this world um and 
I kind of feel like more and more is going to come out come out about more companies and more people because of the whole uh, Epstein situation. I think I said that right. So please be on 10. Please, I'm going to get some more information about this. And I might do a part two, but right now, the the only information I see is the same information about the cabinets and the pillows. And um, I'm going to actually post the article for you guys to read as well. Um, if you want to see another video about this, give it a thumbs up. I was not going to get dolled up and everything for this video because it wasn't these type of videos for that. This was basically just like an eye-opening video um a warning um basically just letting you guys know what's going on in the world because you got to be on 10 um <laughs> at all times at all times um so yeah if you want to see a part two to this if i get more information just leave a thumbs up um if you want more information uh, about this if you found out find out more information about this link it in the comment comments below um if you want to add something in that you see put it in the comments below um i just wanted to basically scratch the surface of what i seen everybody trying to understand if it's real or not i feel like this is definitely real <laughs> um it's they you if you ever heard the saying like people doing shit in your face in plain sight this is one of them i can only imagine how many other companies are doing this how many other people are doing this and they're saying like it's ways um for them to get in contact with them to for them to know for people to know that this is what they're trying to purchase this is what they're trying to get they're not um trying to purchase furniture and shit like that but Please, 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 if you have any other information, link it in the comments below. And I just want to say thanks for watching. Um, this video should be up fairly soon. Um, I know people have been waiting on it all day. I've just been tired. But I'm going to give it to y'all regardless. So, now I'm out.